currently making candles because candles are fun um, and we needed I need more candles and um, I need to, to also film an intro so I thought I'll do them at the same time multitasking um, oh and if you just by any chance are um, interested in how to make candles I, I've had made a video about it you know you can go check it out in the description great self promo Okay. Oh, oh, and just, just to top it all off, I am wearing the apron I am showing you how to make right now while I'm making candles. Isn't that just fantastic? It is, right? I know. I know. It was just totally amazing. So, I've been inspired to make an apron like this since I watched Anthony, because Marilla Cuthbert wears the most amazing apron just like this in the show, and I've wanted one ever since I saw it. It's so cool. So I decided to make one inspired by that. Um, it's really quite a simple project. If you have an old bed sheet, that's what I use as fabric. Works perfectly. And yeah, no, it's really quite a simple project. It's very rewarding. It looks great. And the turn on this apron, when you spin around, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So um, I'll let you. Get on with the video, yeah? So the first thing you do is you cut out a half circle of fabric. To get the right measurements, what you should do is go to the circle skirt calculator and fill in that you want a three quarter circle skirt, not a half circle, but a three quarter circle skirt. Then get all the, fill in your waist measurements and the length you want your skirt. My waist measurement is 66 centimeters and the length I wanted it to be was 84 centimeters. So when I filled in my waist measurement, I got a radius of 12 centimeters. But I added three centimeters so that I could gather it to give a nice gathered waistline. So I made it 15 centimeters instead of 12. But this is totally optional. If you wanted to have a more fitted waistline, then don't add extra centimeters. So once you've cut out your half circle and your inner circle, it should look something like this. So the next step is to hem the seams. So to hem it, you just get the end of the fabric and fold it over twice and then do a straight stitch along it. When you're hemming the bottom bit, it's a bit difficult because it is a round cut. It is a round area and not straight. So you just have to work very slowly and carefully. When you're done, you will probably get this twisted hem, which is not that beautiful, I have to say. But you can iron it flat and it looks great. So the next step is to cinch in the top area. So what you want to do is you want to change your stitch size to the biggest setting and stitch a straight line along the round curve. Laying it flat, pick up the top threads on either side and cinch it in. The next step is to make the waistband. So for this, cut out a piece 20 centimeters by 2.3 meters. Yes, I know that is quite a long rectangle, but I wanted super long straps that hang in a very pretty bow at the back and have long flowing straps that was just personally the aesthetic i was going for but certainly not needed the straps do not have to be that long <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to take each side and fold it in and iron that flat then fold it in half again and iron that flat then you've got this long neat ironed strap so i wanted my straps to end in the pretty curve and not the square so what i did is i folded the very tips of the straps backwards so against the way you ironed it and pinned that down. And then sewed a nice little gentle, gentle slope. So when you fold it back inside out, you've got this really pretty curve. So once you've got your strap, you want to pin either side to the raw edge of the top of your apron. And then sew a straight stitch from one end of the strap all the way along it over the apron and all the way to the end of the next strap. So once that's done, your basic apron is done. So you could stop here if you wanted to, but I feel like an apron is a practical thing, which means it needs pockets, because anything practical needs pockets. So to make pockets, you want to cut out two squares of fabric, 23 centimeters by 17 centimeters. And then you want to get the top edge and hem it. 
then taking it back to the iron, you want to fold in both sides twice. Then pin this flat against your apron. And straight stitch that on. Then, to add a little bit of a flourish, I added a zigzag stitch along the bottom to give it a bit of decorative feeling. However, for the life of me, my camera would not pick up these stitches. So I have no footage of them because my camera would not pick up the white thread against the white fabric. It just didn't work. But it does look pretty pretty in real, real life. <laughs> so then, that's the finished project. I am so happy with it. And since it is, the apron is made out of a circle pattern, and if you pair that with a circle skirt and you twirl, it's just the most amazingest twirl you will ever get in your entire life. No exaggeration. Just amazing. I feel like a hobbit when I wear this over a skirt with a waistcoat. Oh, I really feel like a hobbit. And that really is not a bad way to feel. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit the like and consider subscribing. Oh, and if you're curious at the beautiful patchwork skirt I am wearing under my apron, well, that is coming up in a future video. So you really should consider subscribing to stick around and see what that is. Yes, yes, I agree. It's a great idea. <laughs> Bye. Well, dearies, uh, you learn something new every day. When the little thingy on the camera goes red, it means you've run, you're running out of storage space on the camera. You think? Now where was I? <clears throat> this intro giving me problem.